hold a 20-3 lead over the Saints last night, but New Orleans rallied back in the second half to come out with a 30-27 victory in overtime. Justin Herbert became the first rookie to throw for four touchdowns on Monday Night Football and also finished with a 74 QBR as opposed to Drew Brees only getting a 66. Reggie Bush is back with us this morning on Undisputed. Reggie, you won a championship with Drew. From what you've yep. seen, does he have enough left in the tank to take his team all the way to the Super Bowl? Uh, without a doubt, he has enough left in the tank. I think anybody who watched that game last night saw a fighter. You saw somebody overcome adversity. Uh, you saw an, an old veteran quarterback uh, make some mistakes early, but still find a way to will his team to a win uh, late in the game. And I'm so happy they won that game because I knew just about every media, media person in the world was ready to kill Drew Brees today. But we saw a, a fighter. We saw a, a team overcome some of its early mistakes. Uh, the defense, the secondary, got shredded. Uh, Justin Herbert can play. I love watching this kid. Um, He's tall, he's athletic, uh, he finds the open receivers uh, when there's a breakdown, he can read defenses, um, he's a leader, he's a fighter, like what else do you want out of a quarterback um, that, that Justin Herb other than what Justin Herbert gives you? Um, the Saints met a really good football team last year. The Chargers are a team. A record may not showcase that, being one and four, uh, but at the end of the day, this is a team with all-stars on it, Keenan Allen, uh, you're going to deep side of the ball, Bosa. I mean, you got players all over the place on this football team, and they gave the Saints everything they could handle last night. And the Saints still found a way to win the football game without their best target, Michael Thomas. And that's one thing that I just want to make the point of because, again, Drew Brees has been doing all their three and two right now. They're the leaders in their division in the NFC South without having used their best weapon, Michael Thomas, most of the season. So once Michael Thomas comes back, it's going to open up everything else for that for the for the receivers, for the run game for Alvin Kamara, um, and also for Drew Brees. For me, watching Drew over the last five weeks, this version of Drew Brees will not lead them to the Super Bowl. He didn't play well against Tampa, and I don't think he's played particularly well. Now he had spots in which he's played well, but right now they're not beating Green Bay. They're not beating Seattle. You're not playing. The likelihood of you facing a rookie quarterback in the playoffs are not very good. And what I'm seeing from Drew Brees, I don't know if he has the confidence to fit that ball into small windows. He's never had the strongest arm, Reggie. But Drew used to throw with great anticipata uh, anticipation mm -hmm. and can fit mm -hmm. balls into windows. He's no longer doing that. There's a lot of skip passes. There's a lot of overthrows. And I think that, <clears throat> and I, Skip and I was talking about this earlier, when you're a great player, you don't get, play get compared to other great players. You get compared mm -hmm. to a younger version of yourself. And what we've seen from Drew Brees, and yes, he's still completing 65, 60% of, uh, 66 percent of his passes. But when you're used to seeing a guy complete 75, 80 percent of his passes, you're like, well, what's going mm -hmm. on? And maybe you're right. Maybe um, Michael Thomas not being there because he's a very uh, uh, one receiver dominant player. We saw that last night with, with Emmanuel Sanders. But from what I'm seeing in their defense, no, 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 they're not going to Super Bowl, Ridge. I'm sorry. Mm. That's 14 points, though, with Michael Thomas on the field. Guaranteed 14 points. And then you open up everything else for the receivers, for Emmanuel Sanders, for Alvin Kamara, for the run game. They are missing one of their biggest key assets on this offense. And again, I, I know they lost to the Green Bay Packers, and Green Bay didn't have one of their best weapons. But we cannot sit here and try to say that Michael Thomas, one of the best receivers in the NFL, who set records last year mm -hmm. with Drew Brees, he does not have his Robin right now. He does not have his Batman. They are missing that chemistry right now on the football field, and that's why defenses are able to play a little bit tighter, right? They can play man coverage. The Chargers played man coverage so much last night. Because Drew can't throw the ball over the head, head, Reggie. They don't, they don't, they, they saying, Drew, you can't throw the ball over our head. We're going to make you fit the ball in the tight windows. And if you can do that, you can beat us. If you can't, they're playing straight man across the board. Threat right now. Who's their deep threat right now that's scaring any secondary? When you when you look at the New Orleans Saints right now, if I'm a if I'm a defensive coordinator, who am I scared of from that receiver position? Nobody scares me to to to, to threaten me deep. Until we get Michael Thomas back, then that threat, that deep threat is gonna come back to us. But right now, we don't have that deep ball right now because nobody is scared of our of our receivers. Mm. So Reggie, <clears throat> once upon a time you won a Super Bowl with Drew Brees. 
when you yes. came out of USC and you started catching passes from Drew Brees, do you think his arm strength was much stronger in those days than it is from what you see on TV now? I think just from the natural, natural uh, standpoint of, of age, right? You're going to have some drop off. Nobody is saying that Drew Brees is still zipping the ball like where he was in 2006. That's a completely different player. But what you can do as a as an athlete and as a competitor, you can learn how to adapt. The same way LeBron is learning how to adapt in year 17, winning championships is the same thing that great players like Drew Brees can do, like Tom Brady can do. That's why they're still the starting quarterbacks of NFL franchise teams because they can still do it. Drew Brees has the most completions, the most yards, the most touchdowns, and the most passing attempts. What else do you want from this guy? No, it's not going to look the same in year 18, 19, whatever, but he can still win you football games. He can still lead your team to victory. And we, I use Peyton Manning as a great example. He was not throwing the ball well his last year when they won that Super Bowl uh, in no. Denver. So Drew Brees can get that, can, can do the same thing. Well, you better well, you better have your defense there. You better, I need to see a Von Miller yeah. and a D. Ware and so, some of those, <laughs> and those two guys on those Rikers Island, Chris Harris Jr. and Akeem Tlaib. But here's the mm -hmm. thing. What teams are not afraid of is Drew Brees throwing the ball over their head. If you go back and look at the playoffs the last three years and you look at Drew Brees in the playoffs and you tell me that's the same guy in the regular season when they start clamping down, when they mm -hmm. start getting up in those receivers' faces and says, okay, Drew, Throw this ball in this window here. You've seen it. You saw yeah. Minnesota last year. I've seen it. Yeah. And, and it. even yep. when they, and even when uh, what they call it the uh, uh, the miracle in, in Minnesota, whatever they want to call yeah, that, America's Drew right. didn't play well early, Reggie. They just had gotten You're conservative right. and says, you know what? Let's put it in the tank, and they allowed Drew to come back. But Drew hadn't played well in a playoff game in a very long time. Yes, and that's absolutely on Drew Brees. That is one hundred percent on Drew to make sure that he has his team in the right position to win the game, that he continues to lead his team. Because at the end of the day, that's most of the reason why Drew is here is to give them that leadership mm -hmm. that he has given them since he stepped in the New Orleans Saints uniform. So I saw that last night. Last night's game kind of remind me of 2009 when we played against the Miami Dolphins. They had Ricky Williams, Ronnie Brown. They rushed for like 200 yards each on us by halftime. <laughs> By the end of the game, Drew Brees did the same thing. Jumped over the end zone, stuck the ball out, got a touchdown. He led us back to victory. That's why Drew is here. I'm not expecting Drew to outduel Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert looks amazing right now, but I am expecting Drew Brees to uh, be the best leader on that football field. Well, you uh, uh, you ain't expecting him to uh, outdo Justin Herbert. Well, what the hell are they going to do with Russell Wilson or, or Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Or Tom Brady, if you hey, have man. to see him again. <laughs> it's a team effort. It's a team effort. <laughs> okay. You need everybody. So, Reggie, the way I sum this up is I see Drew Brees aging. Not a, not a lot, but, but slowly but surely aging. I see loss of arm strength. I see him laboring to deliver balls that he used to deliver without effort. I don't see Tom Brady aging the way Shannon does. Shannon thinks he's basically fallen off the cliff. Tom Brady has. But he looks stronger to me at 43 than Breeze does. I don't even know what is he, 41 now? I think yeah. He was 41. Yeah. Then Drew Brees. I, I see one aging far more than Tom Brady is aging. That's just me. <clears throat> Listen, you got to also remember, Drew tore his shoulder up in 2005, whatever year that was. So you cannot sit here and... You cannot expect there to not be any residual effects, you know, when you've, when you've played this long in the league. Like, Drew's shoulder has been through a lot. It's a surgically repaired shoulder. There is going to be some drop-off. Tom Brady never tore his shoulder up the same way Drew nope. Brees did. He tore his knee up the same way, or he tore his knee up pretty yep. bad. And we see Tom Brady can't run. He can't scramble. Um, <laughs> and, and so for Drew Brees right now, I do see some decline. I do see that. Um, I don't see that same zip. But I do, I do still see a fighter. I do still see yep. a leader. And I see somebody that understands the league and understands how to adjust uh, to all those elements. Agreed. Good stuff. Always great to have your take, Reggie, on Drew Brees. We appreciate it. And we will check in with you very soon. I want to go back to LeBron. Was it his most dominant team ever? We'll tell you where all those teams rank next. No mercy.